Amanda Miner. And I'm Terry Miner Jr. And we're here to encourage you today with your prayer challenge. Today comes from the message translation of Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good, will come and settle you down. It's wonderful what happens when Christ displaces worry at the center of your life. And that's amazing because as he talks about Christ displacing worry at the center of your life, you see, worry is not supposed to stay. Amen. It's yeah. not supposed to stay. Now, some people say, well, but I'm human. But this is the key. You're not only human. You are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in a physical body. And so, in other words, when we tap into who we really are, which is our regenerated spirit, yes. we don't have to put up with worry. Like, it doesn't have to stay. Yes. It, it will come and be tempted, but we have to resist it and in the name of Jesus. enter into the rest, right? Exactly. Enter into the rest. Enter into the rest. And that is 100% true because we can't rest and worry at the same time. No. So, we choose rest, resting in God's faithfulness and disregard worry. Yes. And so, we see from this scripture that Hannah just read that... This is what actually positions us to be calm and settled down. And, 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 and the way to stop worrying is to remind ourselves, look at the scripture, see what God already said, and then pray that word from word. But notice it said, quote, instead of worry, right? See, worry is not to be tolerated. Instead, our energy and our attention is on praying God's word, word from word. And just as Hannah just read from the scripture, it says, and everything will then come together. So be encouraged with your prayer challenge and know if you trust God and just stick with him, everything will come together in Jesus' name. Amen.